ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta record, re-record, I mean, because my phone ran out of space. Um, yeah, I just bought some lube so I can learn uh, non-ejaculatory orgasms. You don't need lube for it, but I prefer lube because, you know, it's just better as a, as a circumcised male, right? Yes. I'm doing foreskin restoration, but it's slow. It takes a long time. Uh, so, for the time being, I'm just going to have to use the lube. Um, but yeah, you know, NEOs, it's the move, bro. I can't keep living my life uh, a slave to the orgasm, bro. Bro, I have parked hella close. Okay, we're good. We're good. No car damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is like, uh, oh yeah, um, yeah, not ejaculatory, because it's like, yeah, you can do no fab. I'm hoping that that this is a good alternative to no fab because no fab's cool, but then you know you always relapse, and then your fucking powers are gone, and then you gotta deal with the blah 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 blah, blah and you can't beat your meat, and you can't do all of that, and then you feel bad and So it's like, why not just master the non ejaculatory orgasm, right? So you can have longer orgasms, more intense orgasms, um, in general, just be able to not nut if you don't want to. You just never have to nut. I figure, like, if you just never have to nut, then it's, like, better than no fat. Because it's, like, you can masturbate and never nut. Now, this is a hypothesis. Any are still possible, but there's not really a lot of overlap between the NEO, non-ejaculatory orgasm community, and the no fat community. They're kind of very different sides of a take on masturbation. One is like, oh, we're just going to max out our stats. And then one of them is like, bro, we're just going to stop. So I don't know, you know, but hey, that's research. That's development. Hopefully I'll be able to enlighten you guys in the future. I mean, not that anybody sees these, but hopefully I'll be able to enlighten you in the future as to the possibilities. Oh, yeah, I need to stop. So, Wal- I don't know why Walmart doesn't take Google Pay. Bro, Walmart, you're like the biggest supermarket in the U.S. Why do you not take Google Pay? Why do you not take Apple Pay, Samsung Pay? Why is that not a thing that you take? It doesn't make any... They have Walmart Pay. Walmart Pay? What is... What? And usually I would have my debit card in my in the back of my phone, but I had to switch it out into my wallet. When I went to buy the Puff Bars the other day, the Puff Pluses, um, because I, you know how it is. (laughs) You know how it can be. But, uh, you know, I just recharged the Puff earlier today for the first time. It really works. It really does. Interesting. You really can recharge those things. Whatever the case, yeah. So, I'm kind of like, this is the second time that I'm recording this video, because the first time my phone ran out of space. So, of course, I'm not just speaking up dome. I'm speaking up half dome. But, yeah, um, I've been hella sending Rhea, like, whatever, whatever's. Like, we'd be snapping back and forth. But today, I was like, fuck it, bro. We're just going to be bold, right? I'm just going to not even try to be, not even going to try to avoid sexual topics. Because what's the point, bro? We always hella, (laughs) there's been hella tension between us these last couple months, not even weeks, not days, months, so I figure at this point, bro, why am I trying to hide it, now, I'm not being hella direct, I'm not being like, let me slide in, because that's not what I think, bro, that's not a, but, you know, I'm just not holding back the thoughts that I usually would, to a certain extent, I'm still holding back some, because I figure, I don't know, dude, this is what's the point, why am I, who am I trying to, what, I'm trying not to offend you, mm-hmm. what do, there's just no point in doing such things, such absurd things, there's no point in doing, so, yeah, 
Now that we got the Astro Gel, bro, we can head back and slip it up, it up, it up, it up. Wear the tucker some more. My full flash of coverage is coming in. I mean, it's all right. That's why I like winter, because winter, my dick stays tucked. I'll come out of the shower, tucked. I'll take out the cone, tucked. I'll be in my room naked, tucked. Looking amazing, looking natural, looking foreskinned up. So much better, bro. Like, circumcision is really trash. It's like general mutilation. That's what it is. I know Americans, a lot of Americans, not all of them, but a lot of Americans think that circumcision is better, but it's not better. You just cut off a piece of your body. You cut off a piece of your penis. It's not good for you. Uh, don't, don't be brainwashed by all this American propaganda. You, if you, if you're out there, right, or if there's a person and they think that circumcision is better, like even if it is better, don't force it on an infant. You feel me? Like it's an infant. Everyone's like, oh my god, the STDs. It's like, is your kid gonna have be having sex? By the time your child is having sex, they can make the decision for themselves. Oh, but they won't. If they won't, then why make... Exactly. Exactly then. They won't. So why would you? Oh, but it's cleaner. You can't clean your dick. You can't wash. Huh? You still gotta have to wash it anyways. Just doesn't make any sense. Just doesn't make any sense. There's no reason uh, for forced genital mutilation of anyone. There's just no reason to do such a thing. Yeah, religious reasons, fuck religious reasons, bro. Religions do all sorts of crazy stuff, and when we don't allow that, we don't allow human rights violations just because they're tied to a, a religion. If it was my religion to remove my children's fingers at birth, would you allow that? Probably not. I don't think you would. I think I'd go to jail for child abuse. So... It's my same thing. But it's just, you know, people are so used to it. You could, that, That's just proof that you can get anybody used to anything. You have convinced an entire culture and generations of men that they should cut off pieces of their penis. You convinced them that that is what they should do. And they really genuinely believe it. That's crazy. But I'm not convinced. That's why I do uh, foreskin restoration, which does work. I mean, I can vouch for it. I definitely have more foreskin than I did. Uh, but it's slow. It's hard. I mean, it's not difficult, but it's just like you got to do it every day. You got to put on the device. It doesn't hurt. You just have to put it on. And you have to wash it and clean it. You got to wear it. Uh, it just takes hella long. You can do manual exercises. You can do taping. There's all sorts of devices. There's the TLCX. There's the DTR. There's the CAT2 or whatever. There's weights. There's inflation. There's all sorts of stuff. Manual method. Andre's method. Manual method one, two, and three. Some people are into red light therapy. And all that. So I'm not doing too much for me. But yeah, I need honestly need to get serious about it, bro. Because it's like, I've been making slow progress these last couple of years. These, I've been doing this for like four or five years, bro. And yeah, I've gotten some good gains, right? I used to not be able to pull... I used to not be able to like push my foreskin up at all if I was erect. But now I can push it all the way up over the top of my dick, which is pretty good. Um, I used to never like... A, ever have flaccid coverage now if it's not too hot i can get some good uh flaccid coverage which is comfortable which is nice feels much better you keep, you can keep it tucked you can wear the cone all the time i mean it's tucked right now but uh i'm just trying to get to the point where i just have a regular ass foreskin bro if you have a foreskin out there be glad be glad that you were not mutilated as a child straight up the wound, because that shit's ass, it's definitely whack, definitely fucks you up, people think that just because a bunch of American men live with it means that it's okay, you know what else a bunch of American men live with, 
uh, cancer and they still wake up every day and do their stuff with cancer. So, you know, just cause people have, it doesn't mean it's okay. Anyways, I'm about to walk into CVS to buy some condoms. back in CVS where I was earlier but yeah I don't know just be making me mad sometimes I swear because it's like damn bro like why can't I just why can't I just been born one of the lucky ones in this regard but you know it's okay at least I know now and I'm not living in ignorance like so many men oh my god some people really think that circumcised penises look better dude oh if you if you knew what penises were supposed to look like and how they actually function circumcised penises look disgusting dude they look fucked all the damage the scars the oh my god the keratinization they just don't look good dude i swear to god they look uh, damaged because they are yeah it's not the move for sure not the move fuck bro these are way more expensive than our walmart damn bro are you serious bro okay so i'm just about to go get my cash back i'm about to get like 20 dollars cash back and i'm gonna head to walmart and i'm just gonna buy it there and the cost in gas and time is less than the cost in money so fuck it bro fuck it we ball fuck it we ball anyways yeah that's me do deuces